Hello, everybody. Good day. Welcome to Orgasmic Living. I'm your host, Patty Alfonso, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer. And today's question comes from Sabine in the Netherlands. And it's an awesome question and we're gonna unpack quite a bit from this question. So the question is, what energies can I attract that bring orgasmic energy in my being on a daily basis? Amazing question, Sabine, thank you so much. The first thing that I want to look at with this is the word attract. Um, In using that word, the first thing that sort of showed up for me was that you're trying to bring something towards you that you don't have, right? You're trying to attract something that you don't currently have. And as we discussed in last week's show, orgasmic energy is an energy that is innately available to your body and to your being. And it's something that we have to cultivate. It's an energy that most of us have shut off in our bodies and in our being. So I wanna just kind of shift that word a little bit. So instead of what energies can I attract, that bring orgasmic energy into my life. So we're still looking at bringing the energy in and I want to invite you to awaken those energies from within your body because they are there, they're available, they're innately a part of your body. Hi Andrea, welcome. So I'm gonna change the question to what energies can I be? And even beyond that, what energies can my body and I be that will bring orgasmic energy into my life, that will create more orgasmic energy into my life? So let's unpack this a little bit. Um, First, I want to talk about, number one, you are a being (laughs) and you have a body. So you are a being and you have a body. And I wanna make that distinction because as we go deeper into this topic, it's, it's gonna become a little bit more clear, but I wanna make that distinction because the things that bring you pleasure and joy and orgasmic energy may be different than some of the things that bring your body pleasure and joy and orgasmic energy. And what we have done is Throughout our lives, we have decided a lot of things about ourselves. And we've decided a lot of things about our bodies. Likes, dislikes, preferences. I mentioned this a little bit last week that I recently joined a Fit Body Boot Camp and I, the being, Patty, had no idea that my body would enjoy that kind of rigorous Um, exercise every day and I've been pleasantly surprised and I continue to be pleasantly surprised but but I probably wouldn't have chosen that if my body hadn't let me know that that is what she wanted was to um, have that kind of exercise every day so part of unlocking that orgasmic energy from your body and unlocking that orgasmic energy from your being is about exploring um, those things that you've decided about yourself and about your body. And so one of the energies, two of my favorite energies for that are the energies of curiosity and wonder. Be curious with yourself. Be curious with your body about the things that bring you pleasure and joy. Um, so all of those things that you've decided about you, hi Jen, welcome. So all of those things that you've decided about yourself, whether it's the things that you've decided about the things that you like to wear or the food that you like to eat or the places that you like to go, the kind of movement that your body likes, all of those things, I want you to start being really curious and from the place of childlike wonder. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes like when I, when I get a new car, <laughs> I get in my car and I'm like, oh, what does this button do? Oh, what does that do? Oh, and if I press this, what if I do that? Or if I have some new, you know, kind of software or something that I'm trying to learn, which is not very often because it's not my favorite thing to do. But, oh, what, it, what happens if I do this? I wonder what it'll create if I do that. So that's the energy that I want you to be with your body about um, everything 
gosh, I wonder what it would be like if I went for a run today. I wonder what it would be like if, you know, I put on that dress that I've been avoiding or if I allow myself to go shopping and just try on all kinds of crazy things to see what those choices create for your body. Okay, so curiosity and wonder are two of the most magnificent dynamic energies when you're looking at inviting the energy of orgasmic living into your body and into your life, awakening those energies in your body. The other um, energy, I'm just looking at looking at my notes over here to make sure I get everything. Um, the other energies that I want you to really, really, really practice with your body, and this, this actually addresses a couple of questions that were submitted. That is the energy of gratitude. Gratitude with your body and the gratitude that your body has for you. Now, when you invite and be the energy of gratitude, judgment cannot exist. When you be the energy of gratitude, judgment cannot exist. And so last week we talked about the energy of orgasm being that like explosive moment where you are present with all energies and present with all sensations. So what happens is that throughout our lives, you know, situations get created, things get chosen that aren't, you know, the best that we would like in that very moment. And so we start shutting down. We start shutting down our energies. We start shutting down our joy. We start shutting down and cutting off pieces of ourselves to try and avoid creating those things again. But that's actually not your best choice. Um, and so what I'm asking with this energy of gratitude is to allow yourself to be present with everything. Hi, Veronica, welcome. To allow yourself to be present with everything, with the energy of gratitude. Because if you're grateful for something, you can't judge it. And when you are in the energy of judgment, you are cutting off sensation. You are cutting off energies. You're cutting off everything. I mean, judgment is one of the greatest killers of everything, <laughs> especially orgasmic living, especially orgasmic energy. So as you start stepping into being curious about new things, being in wonderment of what those new things may create for you and for your body. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Karen. So when you're starting to step into that curious energy, you want to also be grateful in that moment so that you don't end up judging yourself or judging whatever is showing up. So curiosity, wonder, and gratitude. When you allow yourself to be these energies, then you are inviting the energies of orgasm and of living orgasmically in your life in every moment. Um, I just want to check in and see if there's anything else about this. And if anyone has any questions, if you're live, I would love to hear them. Um, and if you'd like to join me and ask your questions in advance, then you can do so at orgasmicliving.live. Um, as you go forth throughout the rest of this week, I really want you to question everything that you've decided about you and everything that you've decided about your body. And I want you to muster up the greatest amount of courage that you can and choose something different out of the energy of being curious around what that would be. Choose something different out of the energy of, of being in wonderment of what that will create. And then allow yourself to be grateful for the fact that you actually get to choose for the fact that you actually have a body that you can play and explore all of these different things with. And the more you choose different things and the more you start finding out really what are the things that your body 
enjoys, that your body loves. And you'll see, it's freaking magical. When you start choosing those things, then your body gets joyful, your body gets more excited, and then you have more joy and more excitement in your life. And I wanna reiterate what I said in the beginning, and that is that, I'd like to reiterate it, but I forgot. <laughs> I want to reiterate what I said in the beginning about the things that you have decided about yourself and allowing yourself to explore beyond those decisions and beyond those conclusions about who you are, about what your body would enjoy. And as you expand into all of the possibilities of sensation and pleasure and joy, then you will have more orgasmic energy. And now I remembered what I was gonna say, and that is based on Sabine's question that she wanted to attract energy, attract orgasmic energy. What things can I attract that would create this? And I wanna just really hone in on the fact that this is energy that is innately available to you. This is energy that you came into this world with. Imagine like a two-year-old or a three-year-old or a four-year-old little kid running around being loud and laughing and funny and choosing whatever works for them in that particular moment. They don't really care about you know the people around them or what the people are gonna think. <laughs> if they wanna throw a temper tantrum, they will throw a temper, temper tantrum, okay? If they want to dance around, oh my gosh, I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I would get up at restaurants and just dance around the restaurant because I felt like it, especially if there was fun music going on. Of course, my family would be mortified, but I didn't care. So what if you allowed yourself that sense of freedom and abandon with your body. What would that create, right? Again, the energies of curiosity, wonder, and gratitude, and undefining you, your body, what you think you like and don't like, and playing with that, and allowing your body to show you what it is that your body enjoys. All right, my sweet friends, thank you so much for being here with me today. How does it get any better than this? Um, so Agnes says, what can I do to not stop this flow and this freedom? You know, sometimes uh, the biggest thing that you can do is to choose to not stop that flow and that freedom. And that may be a little bit of practice because I know that um, sometimes, especially if you've had some things going on, you know, in your past or in your childhood and you were that free and that, and that sort of exuberant and then maybe people didn't really like it so they shushed you or they wanted you to stop and so it kind of creates, it can create an automatic response of stopping, right? So I want to invite you, Agnes, and everyone to be really present with yourselves. And when you notice that automatic stop, oh, I shouldn't do this, or you know, this isn't okay, or whatever that crazy thing is that's in your head, that's in your mind, um, to just be present with it and give yourself that space in those 10 seconds to choose something different. Even if it's just 1% different, okay? Uh, sometimes we want to make these like huge thousand percent shifts and changes and sometimes that's totally a-okay and appropriate and absolutely and sometimes we just need a little one percent shift that will eventually create that great shift in the long run. So if you did a one percent shift in every day, in a year you will have created a 365 percent shift. So be present with the stop, okay? Be present with that, you know, um, energy that that is showing up that you've put in place to stop yourself. And just in that moment, lower your barriers. 
be curious, be in wonderment, be in gratitude, and choose something different, right? Albert, An Albert Einstein said, um, you cannot change something with the same consciousness that created it. So we have to shift that energy and shift that consciousness in order to shift and create something new. Thank you for your question. I love it. I know that, let's see, can I read Portuguese today? Um, she says, Andrea, how much contribution can we receive from our bodies? I can read Portuguese today. How does it get better? Quanta contri I'm not even going to try to do it in actual Portuguese. Um, how that's a wonderful question. What can I receive from my body today? And I love just asking, like, body, show me. Body, show me. Show me what I could receive from you today. Anyway, I think that is it for today, my sweet friends. Thank you all so much for being here. I adore you so much. If you'd like to submit a question, please do so at orgasmicliving.live. I will see you here next week. Same date, same time, same bat channel, not date, same day. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I know y'all. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.